Hey guys, Bert the Stormtrooper here again, and uh, I've got another unboxing and first impressions to do. This uh, this was a fun video to do last time when I got that Megatron, that uh, Netflix Megatron. And since I'm not really set up with my studio right now and uh, don't really have a way to do like proper reviews or anything like that, this actually uh, this was a lot of fun. It was kind of an easy video to shoot, and uh, yeah, it was it was it was a fun video. I thought it would be cool, so I picked up this uh, the Star Screen. Uh, this is actually my second star screen <laughs> because the first one, I, as soon as I opened it up, I realized that by, back behind here, the leg that's behind here, it was missing the rear stabilizer. So I had to go back and return it. And then I looked closely under this one to make sure that it was all there. So, um, yeah, so here is the Earthrise star screen. And I, I was actually on the fence on picking these guys up because, um, well, it just, if, if all reports seem to sound make it sound like it's just an upscaled of the classic star scream or the seeker mold uh which i have six of already because i got the three mains and the three current heads um but then i watched uh patriot primes reviews of these guys and that kind of sold it for me patriot prime is making me spend a lot of money uh so a very very cool figure i figured i'd uh, go ahead and uh, check one out so i'm hoping to find a target two pack so that i can have all three of these now so yeah let's uh so here's the box real quick just so you guys can see what it looks like on the shelf if you guys are hunting for it you can just see Starscream right there. Artwork of Starscream on the side. Artwork for Earthrise on the other side. And then on the back, you got pictures of Starscream in both robot and in jet mode with one of the uh, Weapon Masters there. Let me see, what are these called? Battle Masters. So you got the Battle Master right up there. And then lots of tiny type, lots of tiny type. Let's get them opened up. And I'll take them out of the package and I'll check them out. Uh, give you my first impressions. Uh, I've seen enough videos of this guy that I'm pretty sure I can get through the transformation on this one. Unlike <laughs> Megatron, took me a while. I sat there and I fiddled with him. If you remember, I got about halfway through the transformation and I took it back. I sat with him on the couch and it took me about 20 minutes of fiddling with him. Like I got him transformed once and it's like just something wasn't right and it took me about 20 minutes to figure out what I was doing wrong. So, but I think I've I've watched enough videos of this one. Plus, I'm familiar enough with the classic version that I think I can uh, do this one on camera. So we'll go ahead and transform it on camera and I'll give you my thoughts uh, or my first impressions on both modes. So let's go ahead and uh, switch the cameras and get them opened up. Okay, so let's get this guy opened up and I got my handy dandy nippers and I've got everything angled this time so you can actually see me cutting the box open unlike I did with that uh, family computer robot. <laughs> I was way back here. You couldn't see anything that I was doing. Uh, that was also a bigger box and a little harder to manage and... Uh, you know, with my current setup, I just got this, this uh, a little bit of a rudimentary webcam that I'm currently using here with my microphone. I have to say, though, I kind of like the way the audio is coming out with my voice into the microphone. It's just kind of a little softer. All right, so here we go. Star screen coming out in the tray and uh, first looks right away. Uh, he does appear to be complete <laughs> this time around. So hopefully we won't get any surprises when transforming him. But there he is. Uh, and he looks fantastic. It really does look like a, not just an upsize, but also an upgrade from the Classics version. And of course, uh, somewhere in here we've got the instructions. We've got this little... I don't think I've actually taken the time to read this to see what it is, but I'm not going to do that today either. And of course we got the Earthrise Earth thing in here. Um, I don't remember if Megatron had a, any uh, stuff for planets or anything like that, and I threw that away. But there doesn't appear to be a planet name for this part of the map. Not that I've been keeping any of these. There's a little decoder. I actually think I am going to take that out and keep it before I throw the box out. I think I have been keeping the decoder, so let me just save that for later. That'll go on the instruction sheets. And yeah, there doesn't seem to be any planet names on that one, so there's that mystery solved. And we'll go ahead and repackage that and it looks like Starscream only has the one tie kind of like uh, like Megatron only also had the one tie I kind of like that Hasbro um, not putting 20 ties on this thing making it you know you have to do all the cuts and just making it so difficult to uh, unpack these so just the one tie and you're done that is it I love that I kind of hope we keep moving forward with that. I like that a lot. We'll set that in there. Now, getting the thing out of the plastic is going to require a little bit of force. Uh, if it's anything like Megatron was. Megatron was really in there. And uh, 
appearances look like look like the uh, wings. Yeah, it looks like the wings are really gonna be in there. Is that what's so bad? It looked like the wings and the chest pieces here were gonna really be wedged in there, but that wasn't so bad. Megatron was uh, harder to get out. So there's that. Empty box, and we can check out Starscream. Let's get him straightened out and show him off to you guys. And uh, yeah, that is a beautiful figure. That is gorgeous. I do not like the way this camera does uh, focusing. I can't really control it, but that is a try to get the center there. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Look at that. It's just dead on to Starscream in the cartoon and back in the G1 days. That looks amazing going all the way around. I'm not a big fan of this big empty spot right here. You see that? See how that looks just hollow right there? I'm not a big fan of that. And then um, they didn't look like they were able to figure out a way to improve on this. This isn't bad. It's definitely better than G1 when it was just kind of sticking out the back like that. Uh, if any of you guys are familiar with the G1 figure, it just kind of sticks out the back like that. So this is definitely an improvement from that. Uh, but it still kind of just hangs on the back of the head there. Although it is improved from the classic version because you can actually turn the head. So that's nice. Where the classic version, this support post here is actually attached to the back of the head. So you had to, if the head moved, this was also turning with it. So I guess I was wrong. I guess this is an improvement because you can actually turn the head. The head is on its own. So you can turn the head all the way back or, you know, all the way to the side. And the uh, cone is still behind them. You would not have been able to do this with the classic version if I remember that version correctly that uh, support post is connected to the back of the head so that is an improvement that is that is better and uh, just looking at the back again you know that looks pretty good the uh, legs are cleaned up and uh, now they ch they did change the design of the feet so now you have the uh, you know the folding in half feet uh, which has kind of become the par for earth rising modern figures now so you don't have the little triangle piece that um, would rotate and it had the um, the a landing gear underneath it uh, and I think the classic still had that because they had the landing gear and they also the front here would open up and these pieces a lot of people don't know this but on the classic figure these pieces on the chest would uh, flap open to the side and those would actually become landing gear a lot of people do not know that so uh, yeah articulation uh, so we saw the head the heads on a ball joint it can move around the uh, shoulders are on a universal there so you got forward and backwards in and out you got a rotation yeah rotation at the bicep bend at the elbow the fists can <laughs> do that weird thing that's probably for transformation no rotation at the wrist the uh, cannons can swivel and then of course you can move the little thing up and the legs can go forward uh, backward about that far because of that panel right back there you got rotation at the thigh you got bend at the knee and you got ankle tilt so yeah very nice all right let's uh see if i can figure out well, my way through transformation, which is kind of an odd thing for me. I am kind of a stickler for looking at the instructions. Oh, check this out. This is cool. Okay, so the wings also move, right? And then they also bend. Look at that. So you can bend the wings all the way back if you wish. Kind of give them a... Hey, check this out. There you go. You can give them the G1 look. <laughs> Just like that. that is cool. You can do the little... You can do the G1 look on them. That is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can uh, you can actually angle these back a little bit if you wish. If you want to do like a comic book look, you can do that. You can also kind of set them back a little bit. So you can play around with them. So that is pretty neat. All right, let's see. If I've seen enough of these reviews, I know that I am going to start with the arms. And so I don't botch this. Something about the arms opening up, right? Yeah, there you go. So that's going to open up. And then these are going to collapse. Right? Yep. That comes down, and then these come all the way up. So you're going to have that. So I'm going to do that on this side as well. And again, the joints are really tight. That is nice one of those things like a couple of years ago you would get brand new figures out of the box and they would just be floppy and now they're like super tight everywhere which is really really nice okay so that should do it for the arms 
And now we have to open up the chest, which looks like we have a tab here and a tab here. So, this is kind of cool, just kind of figuring it out in front of the camera, you know? Alright, so there's that. So, I guess, okay, so we're going to bring the nose cone up, straighten out the head. And that's going to click them there, and this should come up. Yep, it's on a double joint there. So this comes up, and it should turn and come back down again. And line that up in the back there. Yep. Right, so far, so good. And these guys should just uh, go right in here. Man, these joints are tight. I like that. All right. If I'm not mistaken, that should just collapse in now. Get everything lined up. There you go. So far, so good. Looking good. Looking really, really nice. This definitely... I am glad I got this. I'm glad Jason uh, talked me into getting these because def as much as I like the classic figure... This is definitely, definitely a big improvement. So, let's see, we're going to move these and close the feet. And these should tab it. Okay, there's a little tab there that's going to tab in up here. So there we go, there's that. So now we're going to rotate that. Tab it in up there. So these little gray pieces here is what was missing on mine. On the, other, on the first one that I got. So yeah, as soon as I got the tray out, I'm like, ah, crap, it's missing a piece. Back in the box. <laughs> and back to Target it went. So this is going to open up. I wonder, should I collapse, or sorry, should I uh, not collapse, um, combine these first. So let's do that. And then these are going, that is my doorbell. Let me go investigate. And we're back. Okay, so we were collapsing the legs, and now we have to tap these in on the back here. So I'm going to do that. That seems to be a little easier said than done. That was, was not quite the smoothest, but I think they're in. Okay, almost there by the whole looks of it. So now these are these are on double hinges here. So I just bring these down and rotate, and I'm guessing these are going to tap in somehow, right? Let's appear like they should tap in. Oh, so you can pop these out. Okay. Well, I guess that's a little bit of a cheat. Let's see if I can do this one without popping it out. Doesn't seem... Uh, that's not, not quite so easy. Maybe I should go back to my tried and true method of reading the instructions. Huh? Okay, finally, we're going to bring the stabilizer down. And that is it. There. That is a jet mode. That is very, very cool. Let's put these on. Oh, I guess we can bring that down. And I suppose with these, we could go right up on the wing. We can also go here on the leg, it looks like. We can put them there on the leg. That looks like that would work as well. And that would look, you know, pretty neat. That actually does look pretty neat. I do kind of like the way that looks because I don't like the super long look. Um, so they had to make a choice, obviously. Uh, we can't give them the short, you know, like in G1, you had the long missiles for the robot and then... In jet mode, it's supposed to be short missiles. They're just supposed to barely stick out of, off of the uh, off the wing. So I've never really been a big fan of the Nor rays just uh, pegged in underneath the wings and how long they are, uh, because that's not really true to what the real jet, the F-15, looks like. Uh, so I kind of like this option. Oh, by the way, there's one on the side of the arm too there, so you can do that too if you wish. But and of course, there's there's one under the wing back or the stabilizer, so you could do that too. <laughs> Although that's probably going to look ridiculous. Yeah, that looks pretty ridiculous. Um, I do like this. This is cool. You know what I should have done? I should have uh, shown them side by side with Megatron. I'll get them back to uh, robot mode and do that. Um, but I kind of like this. It makes it look a little more discreet. You see that? And that actually, you know, it still doesn't look quite. Right, but it looks a little more discreet, which is a little better looking for the F-15, so I kind of do like that a lot. I think that might be my preferred way of doing that. Um, I do kind of like how that looks. Now, going all the way around, yeah, that is a beautiful F-15. Um, and, of course, this looks very much like the classic version. Now, this really does kind of just look like an upscaled uh, classic version. Uh, but now we've seen, you know, the engineering on this, a robot mode, the joints and everything, uh, the tr even the transformation has definitely seen some improvements on this. And, of course, from the front, you're going to see a big old box in the front. So not very aerodynamic. And then, of course, on the side, a lot of junk on the bottom there. 
Um, it's not terrible though. It, it's it is still it still manages to pull off somewhat of a sleek. If there was a little bit more of a transition here, um, it doesn't look terrible. If you've ever seen an F uh, not an, uh, an F16, uh, almost like like an F16 has a real sleek nose, and then all of a sudden, boom, you got all big junk in the trunk down here, and of course that's where, where the whole intake is. Uh, it's literally just the jet, jet is built around. Uh, or rather, the fuselage is built around one giant jet. Uh, but uh, that, so that kind of this is just not lining up right for me. And now I popped the wing off. Huh. So that's obviously double jointed. And then that just pops back in. Okay. At least I didn't break it. <laughs> would have been the second star screen to go back to target. Oh boy, that would have sucked. Okay. Yeah, that's not. It wasn't quite lined up and it was popping off but yeah that looks good I really like that a lot very very nice jet mode beautiful looking let's get him back to robot mode and uh, I'll show him off next to Megatron all right so here's Starscream back in robot mode and uh, just a quick note uh, the wing popped off on me again while I was transforming him now I don't know if that just be me me being fat fingered uh, and not quite being that uh, familiar with the figure just yet uh, or hopefully not going to be indicative of an ongoing issue with this figure. Uh, I certainly hope that's not a problem with this figure where these wings are just going to pop off every time you try to transform him because that would be disappointing. Real quick, I said I would show it off, so I've got my Netflix Megatron right here that I got from uh, Patriot Prime very recently, so you can see what these guys look like together. And uh, yeah, that <laughs> looks really nice, uh, just so you can see them. And, and, I, and I'm holding them up against this edge right here so that they would be at the same level okay so that would be how tall they are in comparison to each other so you can see that even though they're both uh, voyagers megatron is still quite tall standing next to uh, starscreen which is just as it should be uh so that is a very very good looking pair right there i'm very glad jason talked me into getting this guy and now i really hope i can find the other two uh because that would be a very cool display to have all four of these guys standing together all right guys so that is a uh, look uh unboxing and first impressions on earthrise starscreen um i'm really happy with this figure uh, I hope that the issue with the wing doesn't isn't actually an issue and it's just be me and fat fingered with it uh, hopefully that's not an ongoing issue with the figure but uh, yeah at first my first impressions on this figure before first impressions before I got my hands on it uh, I thought this was just gonna be an upscaled classic and I was thinking well why get and I already got the uh, the classic version why get an upscaled version of it uh, no it's it actually there's enough changes that makes this figure feel new again uh, the improvements are fantastic. Everything you can probably pick out on the classic figure that was bad with it, which is very little, uh, has been improved on this one. So it's kind of like with the Netflix Megatron where they took the issues that this, this mold had and fixed them into this version. Uh, this kind of feels the same way for the Seeker, so this is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, these are fun videos to make. Um, let me know what you think of these. Uh, again, it's going to be... I don't know when I'm going to have... Uh, my room set up and uh, and be able to start making like my old traditional videos or if I'm even ever going to go back to that. I really don't know. Uh, this feels uh, very fun, very fresh. Uh, there's no script. I don't have to measure them and give, you know, look them up and see when they came out and, you know, what year they were released or the retail price or measurements and none of that stuff. This just feels like a fun, fresh, off the cuff kind of a thing to do. Uh, where I just uh, open it up and that's uh, just what do I think of it first first impressions it's um these last I did the Megatron and then the Rob uh, or the Japanese family computer robot and not Starscream uh just felt like a fun video to do and hopefully something that you guys enjoy so let me know what you guys think and uh until I come up with another video to do <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time